In January 1999, workers began assembling the massive retractable roof on Milwaukee's new baseball stadium, Miller Park. The enormous crane, known as Big Blue, would lift the segments into place, each one weighing more than 400 tons, roughly the weight of a 747 jet. 31 lifts, or picks, would be needed to complete the roof, each a precisely coordinated effort. While Big Blue did the lifting, three workers suspended nearby in a man basket helped guide the roof section onto its tracks. The first pick took place January 8, 1999. It was um, eight degrees out, it was snowing. I didn't want to get out of my car. Not only were these guys working, they're lifting a 747, 200 feet in the air, in a way that they have to set it down right there. Not there, but there. I mean, it's within inches. I, I can still picture it. It was like seeing the Grand Canyon. You know, they can tell you everything you want about it, but when you see it, it you get a di different feeling. This was really something. The work continued through the spring and early summer. By mid-July, crews had successfully completed nine picks. The 10th was scheduled for the afternoon of July 14th. It was a day just like today, only the wind was blowing steady. You could see the flags just blowing straight out. The National Weather Service reported winds of up to 26 miles per hour. Some workers expressed concern about the windy conditions, but the lift went on as planned. An OSHA inspector happened to be on the site at the time. This home video recording shows what happened next. Within seconds, Big Blue and its load were down, collapsed over the wall of the stadium. The crane's operator fell from his cab and suffered a broken hip and shoulder. But the workers suspended from a nearby crane could not get out of the way. The, the three iron workers were, at the time of the lift, in a man basket, suspended up above by another crane. And when the when the crane came down, the whole jumbled mess caught them and sent them plummeting to the ground in this man basket, all three of them. The three iron workers, Jerome Starr, Jeffrey Wisher, and William DeGrave, were killed instantly. Miller Park was severely damaged, and opening day was set back a year. It was a, once we got in there to see it, it was a huge, just a twisted, mass of steel and concrete. While the city expressed a combination of shock and horror, the families mourned their personal loss. Fellow iron workers mourned privately too, but in public projected a stoicism that seems to come with the territory. The accident happened and they cleaned it up and we're putting another roof on. And there's really not much more to say, at least in my opinion. Two months after the accident, the wreckage of Big Blue was removed to an Illinois scrapyard. A new crane was brought in to complete the project, and the iron workers went back to work. There's a lot of pride in being a part of this. It's going to be a beautiful building, and it just really makes you feel good to know that you're part of something that's going to be here for a long time to come. Ironworking may be the industry's deadliest trade, 